Well, I mean, it, it is Brexit in a point of fact. I mean, you know, Mark made to cry well, this, and, and, and got I believe to do with Brexit. Mark made to cry this, and I know, well, it, it actually has. It's well, got well, a lot well, to do with well, Brexit. Hell. This is Mark Francois. He's a Tory and a member of the anti-EU group, the ERG. Watch him here in direct conflict with Will Self. Well, because since 2016, your problem really, Mark, is not that you, you, have, you, you have to be a racist or an anti-Semite to vote for Brexit. It's just that every racist and anti-Semite in the country did. I think that's a slur so, on 17.4 <laughs> million people. It's not. And I think you should apologise on national television. I think that's an outrageous thing to say. We'll stay on this conversation for a moment as it starts to get a little heated with Francois's faux outrage pitted against a rather relaxed Will Self before going to an upset Francois at a committee hearing. Oh, well, you seem to find a lot of things outrageous, though, don't you? But, Will, is it fair so to say that? Are you saying that 17.4 million people no, I'm are, saying, no, I'm are, saying are saying racist and bigots because no. they voted to leave the European Union? No, that's not what I said. Uh, that's pretty close to what you said. What did you it's say? It's not remotely what it, close so to what, what I exactly said. So what exactly are you saying? You seem to be a little exercised. Uh, well, because I'm offended. Oh, well. Well, we'll say it again so we can... The politics of offence. Right, well, well, well. Uh, what I let said was that every racist and anti-Semite in the country pretty much probably Ooh. voted for Brexit. That's you know, all. And that how doesn't do you know mean... that and a secret ballot? I don't how know How do you possibly know that? I suspect it. Uh, and I think it, you should apologise. To who? To, to racists and anti-Semites. Because you've basically tried to slur anybody who voted leave as a bigot. And I think you should apologise. No, I haven't. I oh, said yeah. that's the problem. Listen, 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 Mark, Mark, what, what you said is said everyone who is a racist a voted leave. How could he Brexit know that? Well, that, that of course, it's is up for discussion. It's a secret ballot. No, how can you know? You know, for all the reasons I've reduced already, which is that the problem for nationalists generally is that they fall into the hands of what we call ethnic nationalists. All right, you mentioned Dominic Raab earlier. And on that, we haven't got time to actually play the clip. Hang on, hang on. For everybody's let me, when they vote. Let me bring in... Let seems to me to be a deeply unsatisfactory... Statement. Here is that committee meeting, and it's on the Windsor framework. Members of the ERG, including Jacob Rees-Mogg, feel that they've been edged out by Sunak of the ability to have their say on matters dealing with the checking of goods entering Northern Ireland. Further to that point, What is not the norm is for people to be taken off a committee against their will. That is completely irregular, and that is what has happened here. Five times over for the same committee. That is not in order. That is not a convention. It is the government trying to rig a committee and get rid of people who they thought might have the moral courage to vote the wrong way. It's bent. That's what they've done. And you, sir, should not be facilitating it. You yourself admitted, sir, that the final membership of this committee was only finalised 50 minutes, five zero minutes, before it was due to... Oh, boo-hoo, you didn't get into a meeting. This is another one of those moments where someone who doesn't mind bullying and applying manipulative behaviour finds themselves on the other end of the stick. Then, when the use of the term bent comes into question, Jacob has to jump in to tell everyone about the rules governing a committee meeting. Withdraw it. He used the uh, word bent. I'm afraid that is unparliamentary. And I would, I would ask before I call the former leader of the house, uh, I, I would ask that I would order, 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 order. order. Sorry, I can only take one point at a time. I'm dealing with. That is your ruling, sir. No, he does not have the authority to order you to withdraw in a committee. The speaker has that authority on the floor of the house. Oh, the chairman of a committee does not have that authority. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm grateful to my for the avoidance of death. He can ask you. For the avoidance of death. I'll withdraw it anyway. You and I have known each other many years. If you think that that word word was disorderly, out of respect for you, mindful of my right honourable friend's point, I will withdraw it. I replace bent with read. Let's go back to that Will Self and Mark Francois argument to see a stare off. Let me bring in. Let me bring in the two ladies. Hang on, uh, Grace. There is a point that Dominic Raab said that there will be a day of reckoning if Brexit doesn't happen, and there would be a day of reckoning. The implication is if it went to a second referendum. Do you accept that there is a danger of that? No, totally. But as we can see now, this is such a t tricky situation. Click here for another mog-related video.